So, we're here. Oh fuck, it's in manual focus. Fuck. Okay, there we go. So this is Brian. Brian Osgood. It's one of our best clientele here. This is his card. Now you have to cut that out of the vlog. <laughs> yeah, man. It's okay. It was out of focus, I think. Oh, he thinks. He thinks. I, I hope so. I mean, it's not my card, right? So, I mean... <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just cancel it tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So he... This is the process. Insurance card, insurance. Even though he's our he's our good customer, so really you can see. Oh. But as you can see, he's our best clientele. We still ask him for all his you know driver's license, insurance, and you know all that stuff. So, so don't come. Yeah. So yeah, next time you have a customer walking in here that acts like. They're like, I came here last time. You don't have all this stuff. Well, we got to check every single time, even for our best, right? What are you taking today? Um, I'm going to go drive up and sign my job offer in it. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> so he's taking the McLaren back there. Yep, uh, that's going to be me. Uh, let me move this. Then I'll go zip around. Go zip around, be a baller. Yeah, be a baller. Shot collar. Long dick and uh, something like baller. A <laughs> long dick and something in Paul. So, oh, is Vlad leaving in his shit Ghibli? Does he still have the spare on there? Oh, the TE? Yeah, the TE. Oh, <laughs> so, that's Vlad's Ghibli. Like, you guys remember Vlad from the first vlog, right? So, okay, so let me ask you guys. So, you remember my last vlog, I said that Vlad would stick a dick in, in his Maserati, basically? Yeah, yeah. Is that true? You can attest to that, right? For sure. Yep. Yep. Oh, he's seen him do it. Damn. So that's Vlad for you. He's a he's a fake Russian. Dude, I was just here and he did it. He will like. Isn't that video of the dude that was like humping the tailpipe on some shit? The guy was like, "What are you doing?" The guy's like, "Nothing." Nothing. Wasn't he? No. The TLC like thing where the guy's like just like in love with his car. Oh yes. Ford Talon. Yes. He's literally like this is the front end of the car, just under like oh baby. Like bring it in to the front bumpy. Like, what? Oh, there goes Vlad. Is he still on the T? Oh, no, he's not on the T anymore. So, anyways, the, the spare on a Maserati apparently looks like a T37. Which, you know, I told Leo, and then Leo didn't believe me, and then he went and looked at that shit, and he was like, it does look like a T37. Okay, I'm gonna move. That's the only car where the spare is nicer than the original set. That is true. Oh, are you doing the damage sheet right now? Yeah. Oh, he changed up his office. Yeah, he got a new, he got a new uh, oh, T dude, table. That's Unless you want to move it. Sure. No, I'll pull it, I'll pull it out. Open the top too. No. Where's that? Where's that? Oh my god, this is like... Haven't you driven this car before? No, I haven't driven this one, so I don't need Wait, some... Wait, really? What? Oh, what? I thought you took this for two days once. No. Yeah, you gotta hit the power button first. Yeah, and then open the top. Push down. Ready to open it? Yeah, it's pushed down. Oh, you have to hold it? That's yeah, you have to hold it. So you can open it, so you can open it um, any up to, I think it's like 17 miles an hour or 20. Yeah. So you could be moving and open and close it. No, not 70. That is, yeah, whatever. I guess you just move it forward and then we can see it. I hear a cold start. Um, the, the seat thing is right. Oh, you found it. Yeah, it's weird. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, now you realize it's too short, huh? Yeah. Ah.
we normally don't make customers move the car, but it says it's Brian. Yeah, we didn't make him. I mean, he's taking the car anyways. Wait, don't run over my head. Let me check the front. What? What? This is why we don't let customers move the car. Brian might possibly be. So a very thorough check on the underneath of the car uh, because we do have customers that don't know how to use the lift and they also go straight on driveways. Yeah, it has a lift. I'll show you. There's like a there's like a quick way because you usually have to go through a menu, um, but then there's like a so there's like Lamborghini has down just the button. This has the button. Yeah, I don't know. McLaren's always been like this. So the new 570s is the same way, but it's like you hold the stock down for like three seconds and then you hold it up and then it, yeah, whatever, blah blah blah. Yeah, I found the shortcut. I was trying to do it yesterday, but I can't get it to work that time. Yeah, so the one flaw about this car is that the lift system is horribly slow. Even if you go through the shortcut, it takes a while for it to raise because it's, what, it's all four, right? It's not just the front. Oh, it's the entire car. Yeah, it's the entire car. Yeah. And then, so another bad thing about owning McLarens or having a McLaren is that the bottom of the door gets dirty because it's part of the undercarriage. But the doors go up like this, and Brian moved it the right way. He kept the door open. That's how you do it. That's how you draw be. And if you know, oh, so obviously most of you guys aren't Chinese, but drawing B means to basically flex um, and pretend like you're a baller or, yeah, whatever. That's, that's what I do on the rig. Pretend. He is a baller, so he's not really, you know. We help him ball harder. Yeah, we just help him ball harder. Help him ball harder. Um, so carbon, carbon bits on the interior on this car. Carbon center console. And you just giving yourself a full walker, dude. So the blue one had a better option. Um, oh, and well, here's Eric doing the 360 on the car. So we do that every time a car goes out. Record the 360, um, and just so customers can't be like, "Hey, I didn't do that." Um, what? But so we also, had. It also protects you when, like me, when you bring the Aventador back and the, and the rims locked. Uh, <laughs> Oops. Because the guy before you. Oh, Oops. Remember, I brought it back the first time I took it out, and the repair spot. You guys were like, "Oh, there's a rough spot here." Like he took some paint off, and I was like, "No, I did not." And then, and then, uh, what's his name? Tony, the who's got these light sticks. Yeah, they're very professional. And um, so, the difference between the MP4-12C and the 650 is obviously so this part. Um, so this scoop is like this, right? But the 12C had what, where it's just like a blade on the inside, so it's like it sat more like here. Um, and that's how you can tell if it's a 12 C, if it's like a six or an MP4 turned into a 650S. So you can know the real ballers. Yeah, so you can know the real baller versus the fake ballers. Some of these are like 60k difference, like for a good condition. Yeah. Well, you can buy a, you buy like MP4 for almost 100 flat now, right? I mean, if you want like a real super bomb bomb title, uh, <laughs> under super bomb bomb title, very bomb bomb titles. So George wanted me to drive his M3. Um, because, because whoever had this car before definitely tracked it because it had NT03 or yeah NK NT03s on it. So E92 M3s. Uh, so back in, let me see here. What the fuck? So back in, I can't get this fucking seat to fucking go. Whatever, anyways, so. So for BMWs, for M3s, you don't exactly have to put this in, but I don't want to lose the key. Um, and I gotta get, put the seat back, fuck, give me a second. Seat back adjusted. Um, so yeah, um, back in 2010, um, back 2010, 2011, so everyone, or well, international students, like these Chinese kids, um, you either had an E92 M3 or you had a GTR. So if you're, you're, most of your friends had a E92 or E90 GTR or M3, and then your baller friends would have a GTR, and that was how it was. Um, so this car has an exhaust. Um, it is DCT. I don't know what year it is, but apparently it handles really well. Oh, we're also going to McLaren at Bellevue just to uh, check out some dope cars here. So the two six hundred LTS. So I really love this car. Um, it sounds the best, you know, NA, V8. Oh, uh, it's not loud enough though. Oh, and then here's a transport. I don't know what it's dropping off. Oh, it's a turbo in like a uh, chicane gray. Oh, 
Dobos downshifts. DCT. So for E92 M3, um, like for E92 E90 M3s, I would, you know, DCT or manual is fine to me. The biggest problem with the manual is the clutch is really light and it's it's really weird, the clutch point, it's, it's just really weird to get used to. And then the shifter, um, so obviously if the shifter was here, um, and then you have the center console, I would hit my elbow on the shifter console every time I shifted. And I don't really have that problem in Joe's car, because um, Joe did get that extended um, shift knob, or whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, that's kind of my story with the E92 M3. Um, you know, with a really loud exhaust, this car is just like, it's the best. There's no other car that can compare to it, like for a daily driver. And currently in the what twenty to thirty thousand range, um, you know. I mean, it's 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 kind of dated with all this shit, um, but you know, it is what it is. It sounds good. I mean, I like S two thousands. There's a phrase in Chinese that a lot of people have been saying. Um, or it's like the cars, it's not that we like old cars, it's that the cars that we love have become old. So that's pretty dope, obviously. Um, but, uh, it is what it is. So, yeah, we're gonna go to McLaren Bellevue. I'm gonna drive the car a little bit, see how it feels, if it feels as dope as George said, because, I mean, obviously the guy tracked it, so the car should be set up pretty well. Um, and this car is tuned. So, yeah, catch you guys in a little bit when we go to, uh, McLaren. So we're here at McLaren Lamborghini Bentley Rolls Royce of Bellevue. <coughs> um, some 650. This is a, sorry, not 650. Fuck, 570S Spider, um, 720 out front. But what we're here to look at are those two. Ooh, there's a lot of verses. Um, hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, what's up, man? I'm here to make a vlog, starting my YouTube channel up again. That's good, man. Good. Nice but to meet you. Not YouTube, nice to meet you. So YouTube can be nice to meet you. <laughs> so these are the guys to talk to if you guys want to buy a Lambo or you know, nice. McLaren, Rolls Royce or whatever here. Absolutely. I came in to check in the, check out the 600 LTs. Yes. What's up, Graham? Oh, you're on the vlog? <laughs> so, we're here. I'm... Here at Lamborghini, McLaren of Bellevue, obviously, as I said before. Um, came to look at these babies. So, chicane gray and vermilion red. LTs. Full carbon rear, full carbon diffuser, so that's all one piece. This car looks so much better in person than it does in photos and videos. It doesn't do it justice at all. Not exhaust. All the carbon. So Shaheen said it's a lot different than the regular 570. Um, it's just more raw and everything. And then there's the vermilion red. Oh, that one has a that one has a vent on the uh, on the fender here. That red, those wheels. It's a lot of cool stuff in here today. Oh, that vent. Two 720s. There's two 720s sitting on the other side as well. I believe that's papaya orange. Don't quote me on that. And they just got in a new 7, um, 740. So the 740 is the new Avendor S. Um, in a matte black. This car just looks amazing. And then there's the... Uh, just that exposure a little bit. So two Urises that are very popular. Um, so apparently it's a V8 motor. Um, with a Lamborghini exclusive, so it's for their cars only. Um, a whole new turbo system, um, even though it shares the V8 with a Panamera. And then here's a, a matte blue Aventador SV Roadster. And apparently it has a factory race exhaust, which, you know, I haven't heard of race exhaust on this car. Um, but you can see the Alcantara interior, the carbon door with the with the straps to open it. The dry carbon wing. 
all the dry carbon accents on here. And then here's Performante Swan Neck as well. Then it has the ALA, um, which is Lamborghini's aerodynamic um, program, um, and all the forged carbon. So this is a new stuff, new supercar game stuff, forged carbon. Um, so they're gonna get an SVJ in three to four weeks, but that car's already been sold. Um, so these three, so that this SV Roadster and the Performante, and then all these are for sale as well. So here's another Venador S, and it's not really a gloss. It's like a brown red. Oh, it's that color I really like. So in the sun, it's um. It's a really nice color. Let me see if I can put a light on it. Oh, it's a Roadster as well. So I don't know if you see that pearl in there. Um, red stitching on the interior. Also a really nice spec. And then there's the uh, Performante Spider. And then a white Aventador S. Oh, that forged carbon on the interior. And, and this Urcon has a f factory race exhaust as well that they put on it. So if you're looking for, you know, Urcon with the factory race exhaust, well, this is this is your guy. And there's a new Phantom over there. Yeah, here's another shot of those 600 LTs. Oh, that vermilion red is just amazing. You see those vents. This is Graham. What's up? What's up? I do not own a Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing much. Just... So they have a 918 Spider here as well. So the interior is actually brown. It's not black. Um, and if you see that little piece right there. So that's apparently so it fixes the airflow when the top is off. Um, and here's another 720. And then another 720. And then some Bentegas and then um, it's kind of a cool GT. Um, so it's going to be the GT3R. Or is it Super Sport? Or is it the GT3R? No, never mind. Sorry, it's the Super Sport. It's not the GT3R. So the GT3R is going to be um, the one that's like the race car. Um, it's in that livery, that white with that green. Um, there's one in my friend's apartment in Beijing. Um, and Flying Spur. And yeah, I don't take much of an interest in Bentley. But I mean, if you guys want to buy one, you guys can always come here. So you guys need to talk to Shaheem or um, Adam or Steven, um, whichever. So three of those guys. Um, Steven's in a meeting and Adam's, I believe, is not here. Uh, Here's the big boy. This thing is massive. It's that white interior. But, oh man, I can't get enough of that. Oh my god. Oh, the carbon. Oh my god. You guys know I like black and red cars, so obviously this is the perfect spec 570 for me if I were to buy one. Or sorry, 600 LT. Um, because, you know, Will has that red. Black and red 570S that I really like. Um, that we'll get to. I mean, if you guys follow my Instagram, then you'll see that I've posted photos of it before. All that carbon. Okay, so that's that. We're out of here of McLaren, Lambo, Bentley, Rolls Royce of Bellevue. Um, and yeah, um, we're going back to Saturday. I think this is just a good end of the vlog. Got to see Mark's R34. Um, maybe that's another place that we'll stop by next time that you guys can check out, uh, or well, that we can check out. Um, it's gonna be Park Place. They usually have some cool shit too. Um, and then 
Oh, a little intro on uh, George's car. So it has an exhaust. Um, and then he bought the Mag Blue T37s. Um, let's see if I brand it up here. So Mag Blue T37s from Joe. Uh, but, yes, um, this is going to be the end of number two. Like I said, I think we had some pretty good content in here. Um, maybe the next one I'll do a little bit more of my car. Um, and it might be in Chinese shit, who knows. Um, but yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one, which is probably going to be pretty soon. I mean, every other day for a vlog, it's not bad, right? Bye, bye-bye.